<laughs> it is uh, somewhat interesting, isn't that right? <laughs> How you get your investment ideas? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, I was a, a stockbroker. Yes, he was. Yeah. Financial consultant. Mm -hmm. And um, a state and local documents, birth certificates, marriage certificates, death certificates, divorce decrees, yes, probate wills and judgments. <laughs> now, for all of you that said that you have somebody that has passed away, yes, and you received that large inheritance, yes, where there was no gift tax, yes, why don't you just give me the probated estates of each of you that has been named as an heir, yes. Because every time you money launder, yes, every time you bribe, pooch, every time you get a stock tip about what to invest in, Nancy, yes, if it was insider information that gave you this idea that if I buy this security at this very moment, right, and it goes way up in value, <laughs> the individual that you were speaking to could have been giving you insider information. <clears throat> now, I'm sure all the politicians of the United States, <clears throat> they worked you do all of your own online investing. <laughs> Every investment idea is your own idea. Oh, you didn't ever. <laughs> you were what? <laughs> you know, there are certain ways to find out what we don't know, known as the public. Yes, it does. <laughs> you just get me those estates, okay? Ouch! Because every time that you... Well... See, uh, Nancy was walking down the street one day, and somebody gave her an investment idea. Yes. And there's no possible way that she had any insider information. Mm -mm. She was not reading the defecation of an individual. No, she didn't come to find out exactly what they were saying. Yes. There was no use of technology for you to be able to read the thoughts of an actual employee of a corporation. Yes. So that you'd have... Ah! 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 